Hello and welcome. Today I will be creating a clock using an artist board with resin. Links to all the products I'm using are in the description below. If at any point in time the speed is too fast, just click on the instructional video for directions on how to slow it down. Here's the clock I'll be making today. Let's get started. I mixed about eight ounces of resin off camera and I'm going to use this Pabeo relief to create a design. There's no right or wrong way to do the design, and although you won't see the relief in the final design, it did help me to come up with the initial concept of how I wanted the clock to actually look. And once you've actually mapped out the design you want, you can then start to add embellishments. For the middle line, I added some gold crushed glass, and I'm going to go over that with some UV resin um, and cure that just to keep it in place. For the smaller sections, I'm using some broken blue abalone shell and again using UV resin to keep it in place. Next, I separated my resin into five cups. I'm using multiple shades of blue, some blue glitter, and some white pigment paste. The pigment paste will help me to create the cells and lacing that you'll see in the final design. So just continue mixing the rest of your pigments into your resin. Once you've finished pigmenting the resin, start pouring it onto the surface in whatever sequence you like. This is meant to be fun so there's no right or wrong way to pour the resin. Just continue adding the resin until the surface is covered. And you'll see here soon that it will actually start covering the embellishments I initially laid out, but they are still visible enough for me to go back over after I finish pouring the resin. It'll also give it some texture because you'll be able to actually feel um, the embellishment as opposed to the top being smooth. And once you finish pouring all the resin, you're going to want to go over the entire surface with a heat gun. It's going to help with creating the cells in the lacing that I mentioned earlier. the surface with embellishments to make them visible. And once you finish adding the embellishments back on top, just spritz the top with some isopropyl alcohol and allow the resin to cure per the manufacturer's instructions. For this clock, I decided to use these self-adhesive wood look Roman numerals. Before placing these down, I did measure out the placement and I gave myself these little pink dots to know where to place the Roman numeral and then added the self-adhesive dots as well. Once I had all my Roman numerals in place, I mixed up some brown mica into clear glaze and I applied that to all of the unfinished wood. And eventually then I applied a second layer of glaze mixed with black to try to get a closer look to the color of the Roman numerals. Once you finish painting your clock and it's dried, you're going to want to use a drill with the proper size bit to drill a hole in the middle of the clock. Make sure that you use the right size bit and center the hole. I have several other clock tutorials you may reference if you need more detailed instructions, but first you want to put on the hanger, then the rubber washer and feed this through the back. Then you're going to add the brass washer and the brass nut and hand tighten, and then you'll use a pair of pliers to tighten fully. Once that is tight, you're going to want to assemble the clock hands. First, you are going to put down the hour hand, then the minute hand, and finally the second hand. 
Once you're done with that, you'll want to put a battery on the back and you're now complete. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like, share, and press the bell to be alerted to future videos. Here's a look at the final product.